Hello everyone and welcome back to Glorious Events YouTube channel where we talk about everything events related. I am a Ugandan based event planner and manager and I'm here to talk about a very important topic which is the things your guests actually care about. These things you should mark them, get a notebook, write them down somewhere so that you don't miss out on any of them. Number one is the date of your wedding. Think about the date you want to put your wedding. Please ensure it's not so close or the same day with a very important public holiday. We are talking things like Easter, Christmas, New Year, those big public holidays, please avoid them because you don't want to put your guests in this position of thinking they have to choose one thing over the other. It's not very good. So always look for free dates that you can choose so that it's easy for them to schedule in their calendar and actually show up for your event. The second thing they care about is time. Your time, like, you know, what time is your wedding starting? What time is it ending? Don't start so late so that your event drags to like midnight because some people are parents. Some people, even if they're, they're not parents, maybe they stay very far from your event location and they need to drive back to their home. So to just keep everyone safe, you don't want people, you know, getting an easy and walking out of your event when it is still going on. That wouldn't be a good look. So just keep a good time, a good starting time and a good end time. The other thing about time is the time lags in between. This can really irritate your guests if you have very big time lags between uh, events. Here in Uganda, we usually start with the church service and then the couple goes for photography as the guests go to the reception. So for example, if your church wedding started at 9 to 10 and then your reception starts at 2 or 3, that is a very big time lag and it makes some people just say like, you know what, let me just go to the reception directly and they end up not coming to church and you have very few people at your church ceremony, which is actually the most important <laughs> of, of this day, the church ceremony. The other thing where time lags is in the program of at the reception. Please talk to your people, especially the parents. We really respect parents. So uh, it's not that I want you to limit their talk because in Africa, eh? Your wedding is your mother's wedding or your parents' wedding. They've looked forward to this day like forever. And they just cannot wait for your wedding to reach. So they, they have a, a lot of excitement. And sometimes your mother wants to tell us how you were born, how you went to school, da, 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 the whole journey. And you find a speech lasting like 30 minutes all 40 and people are bored bored out of their minds but they just can't you know cut the person off because this is an elder or a very important person in your life so just ensure to talk to them and tell them you know what please let's keep the speeches short so that you know we run the program very fast and people are able to go back home on time so be mindful of the time allocations in your program and just make sure things are flowing very well one after the other without very big time lags. Also the part where the couple goes to change at the reception where they go to change into their second attires. Sometimes people change even four times. Hey, <laughs> Some brides change even four times my friends. So be mindful of that time lag when you're going to change and then guests have to wait. At least make sure there's some entertainment maybe a band, maybe a saxophonist, something to just keep them distracted and engaged at that time when you're changing. But don't take so much time changing also because <laughs> people want to share these moments with you. They don't want you to be aware all the time changing into one outfit after the other. They want you to actually be present so that they can share the moments with you. The third thing guests care about is your location, your venue. Where is your venue? 
be mindful of the distance from maybe the center or the town don't go very far make sure your location is accessible is easily accessible is near a main road is like public transport can get a guest to the place as well as private transport if it's a destination wedding please make sure it's actually a destination people long to go to <laughs> Don't tell people to a normal place and you'll be like the destination wedding. Eh, eh. That church is a place people have actually been yearning to go to so that they make it a point to save up for it and come for it. The fourth thing guests care about is food. Food, food, food. Please make sure you have enough food. This thing of guests, the first guests getting all the food and then the ones last on the line missing some foods, especially chicken. <laughs> okay, I'm just stress stressing that because I really love chicken. But like, make sure those uh, favorite meals are in plenty so that guests don't miss out on meals and feel bad and feel like, oh my God, I wasted all this time coming here and I've not even eaten, I've missed food. Some people actually skip lunch. That is how serious they want to enjoy your food. So make sure you have enough food. Count, have your guest list. Count and know how many people you're planning for. And also talk to your catering service person and tell them to at least have a plus. Add you some plates eh? without charging you. Uh, you can agree because some of them say they can add a plus five or plus 10 but above that they will charge you per plate okay if possible just buy your own food and pay for labor that way you have enough food for everyone so bottom line ensure your guests don't miss food please here in africa food is bay food is <laughs> people go away from your wedding talking about your food They'll be like, ah, that chikoko, we ate food, we ate food, chimere. Yeah, so make sure people are not missing food at your event because they will not be very happy with you. Mm -mm, they will not be. They will even tell you. The other thing guests care about is entertainment. Make sure you have good entertainment because this is a party for them. People have bought clothes some have tailored the clothes they are going to wear people have looked forward to this day they've eh, eh. <laughs> they are coming to celebrate with you it's like an outing for them so it's a party you want people to enjoy so make sure your dj eh, reads the crowd and understands them and gives them good music and people are on the dance floor just enjoying or even if they are seated but eh, they're enjoying they're not in a hurry to leave make sure you have you throw in some spices throw in if you can afford it you can bring a musician if you if you can't bring a band bring bring things to spice things up and make people have fun because they want to be entertained yes they'll come celebrate you and your love as a couple but they also want to be entertained we do not want bored guests we don't want bored guests because bored guests will leave early Mm? Yeah, and we don't want that. The other thing guests care about is drinks. Drinks, drinks, drinks. For those who drink alcohol, for those who drink alcohol, they are actually looking forward to seeing mm, which varieties have you brought? Do you have mixers? You know, doing that thing and mixing different cocktails and putting umbrellas or lemons with oranges. I don't know what they do. <laughs> putting things and making the, or, or smoke coming out of a drink they are looking forward to those drinks to have fun with those drinks if you're a christian couple and you don't want alcoholic drinks you can still go out with juices these days you can put up beautiful displays of different types of juices taferi uh, popo, mango, passion cocktails of different fruits and they are still very very delicious you can do tea 
you can do coffee have a coffee barista there grinding and serving people hot hot cappuccino or hot latte coffee latte my friends like spice things up don't just be ordinary don't just some people soda and water mm -mm. give them something they've not seen they've not been having eh? normally mm? okay the other thing people care about is the weather make sure you read the weather in your area if it's a hot season at least ensure you have tents you have tents to cover the guests or your indoors in a hall so that you know the heat is not so much and if you're indoors make sure there is enough ventilation enough ventilation enough if if the room has fans the better make sure they're working just make sure there's enough aeration because you don't want guests having to leave and go to another room just to get some fresh air because the room is getting stuffy okay if it's a cold season hmm? if it's a cold season please avoid outdoor gardens outdoor spaces because if the rain starts pouring on your wedding it can mess up the whole day the rain can mess up the whole day dampen everyone and people will just be looking for their shawls and jackets and exit so make sure you are indoors to just avoid uh, all that disruption if in if there is rain if you're outdoor make sure at least there is a hole nearby so that in case of anything you just relocate <laughs> okay to the to the safer venue okay the other thing that guests uh, care about which is normally overlooked is parking parking please make sure you have enough parking make sure your venue has enough parking someone has driven all the way to attend your venue they don't want to be worried about their car have security you know watching over your guests cars just make sure there's enough parking and the security at the parking space and make sure the parking is not paid for please thank you <laughs> don't make your guests pay for parking no that's not hospitable okay and last but not least guests want to connect with you at the end of the day they've come to celebrate your day they want to connect with you so don't spend all that time sitting at the bridal gazebo up there you're not even coming down to dance with people you're not like you're just there up there like bagoli <laughs> great time eh? maybe when you're walking in after changing move around greet people you know, take selfies take photos with people let people feel like yeah who watched the wedding and she noticed me she she waved at me she you know just connect with people don't be so distant from your guests don't separate yourselves too much connect with your guests and leave a lasting impression with them and today i want to give a shout out to one of my fellow youtubers she does wigs and i supported her business by getting this lovely lovely wig from her you can check her out at prima bloom wigs on instagram and facebook isn't it just nice i love it so much it's so light on the head it's yeah because really i can't sit at the saloon for these small small twists i've always wanted these small twists but I always fail to sit in this and so this was like a lifesaver and I love it very much. It looks so natural, it looks like a plated, but it's actually a wig. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Ah, till next time for more tips, tricks and advice, wedding related or events related, stay tuned to Glorious Events YouTube channel. Till next time. Bye. God bless.